We all know that hitting the gym or going for a run does wonders for our muscles, but did you know it could also boost the growth of your neurons? A groundbreaking study from MIT has unveiled how exercise doesn't just strengthen your body, it also fosters the growth of neurons, potentially paving the way for innovative nerve healing therapies. Let's dive into the fascinating details of this research and explore how your next workout could be doing more than just burning calories. Exercise, more than just muscle. Exercise has long been celebrated for its ability to strengthen muscles, improve cardiovascular health, and enhance overall well-being. But MIT scientists have discovered that the benefits of physical activity extend deep into the cellular level, particularly affecting our neurons, the building blocks of our nervous system. Biochemical signals The power of myokines When we exercise, our muscles contract and release a cocktail of biochemical signals known as myokines. These myokines play a crucial role in promoting the growth and health of neurons. In this study, MIT researchers found that neurons exposed to myokines grew four times farther than those that weren't. This suggests that the biochemical effects of exercise significantly enhance nerve growth. Physical stimulation Exercising neurons directly But that's not all, exercise also has physical effects on neurons. The researchers observed that when neurons are repeatedly pulled and stretched, much like how muscles contract and expand during exercise, they grow just as effectively as when exposed to myokines. This dual impact of biochemical and physical cues underscores the profound influence of exercise on our nervous system. The study Breaking down the findings The MIT team, led by Ritu Raman, conducted a series of experiments to uncover how exercise affects neuron growth. Here's a closer look at their groundbreaking work. Creating synthetic muscle tissue. The researchers grew mouse muscle cells into long fibers, forming a small sheet of mature muscle tissue. They genetically modified these muscle cells to contract in response to light, mimicking the natural act of exercise. This genetic modification allows scientists to precisely control muscle activity in experiments, helping them understand the intricate communication between muscles and nerves. Such research can lead to innovative therapies for nerve injuries and neurodegenerative diseases. The way it is done is by scientists selecting a gene that encodes for a light-sensitive protein, such as channel rhodopsin. This protein reacts to light by opening ion channels, which can trigger muscle contractions. Using tools like viral vectors, tiny viruses that deliver genetic material, the chosen gene is inserted into the muscle cell's DNA. This ensures that the muscle cells produce the light-sensitive protein. The genetically modified muscle cells are then cultured in the lab to grow into muscle fibers or tissue. This setup mimics how muscles develop and function in the body. Once the muscle tissue is ready, scientists use specific wavelengths of light to activate the light-sensitive proteins. When exposed to light, these proteins cause the muscle cells to contract, simulating exercise. Stimulating the muscle tissue Using a novel gel mat, the team exercised the muscle tissue by flashing light, causing the muscles to squeeze repeatedly. This stimulation produced a rich mix of myokines in the surrounding solution. Testing on motor neurons The myokine-rich solution was then transferred to a separate dish containing motor neurons grown from mouse stem cells. Neurons exposed to the myokine mixture grew significantly faster and farther, four times more than those that didn't receive the biochemical cues. 
Exploring Physical Impacts To isolate the physical effects, the researchers embedded tiny magnets in the gel mat holding the neurons. By jiggling the mat with an external magnet, they physically exercised the neurons, finding that this mechanical stimulation also promoted substantial growth. Results Double the growth with double the cues. The combination of biochemical signals from myokines and direct physical stimulation resulted in neurons that not only grew faster but also matured better and formed more robust connections. This dual approach highlights the synergistic effects of exercise on both muscle and nerve health. Implications These findings open up exciting possibilities for treating nerve injuries and neurodegenerative diseases. By understanding how muscle activity influences neuron growth, scientists can develop targeted therapies that mimic the beneficial effects of exercise. Imagine using muscle stimulation to encourage nerve healing in patients with traumatic injuries or conditions like ALS, restoring mobility and improving quality of life. Looking ahead, future research. Building on their previous work, where they successfully restored mobility in mice through muscle tissue implantation and exercise, the MIT team is now focused on refining these techniques. Their goal is to harness the power of exercise-induced muscle signals to develop effective treatments for human nerve injuries and degenerative conditions. Conclusion MIT's pioneering research underscores the incredible interconnectedness of our body's systems. Exercise isn't just about building strength, it's a catalyst for neuron growth and nerve healing. As we continue to explore the depths of synthetic biology and neurobiology, the prospect of using exercise as a form of medicine becomes ever more promising. So next time you work out, remember, you're not just strengthening your muscles, you're also nurturing your neurons. Creating these videos takes a lot of time, research, and passion, and your support truly makes a difference. If you found this content helpful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on Quantum Blogger. Don't forget to share with friends who are curious about science too. Your likes, subscriptions, and shares help us continue producing high-quality, insightful videos just for you. Thanks for being part of our community and helping us explore the fascinating world of new medical research, and quantum computing and beyond.